dispute the cost of life. He, don't, he just says a lot, a lot of stuff over and over again and emphasizes words on things to make it sound important. Yeah. Just kind of listen at how he delivers. If it ever comes up. And that's the thing about the church. All they want is your money. Mm -hmm. I went to one church in Virginia Beach that was for the homeless. It was the best service I've ever been to in my life. And I grew up in church since I was four or five, three, four or five years old. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I've been in church my whole life, except when I came to the military, I got away from that shit as much as possible. My parents, they're very religious, but they're very hateful. Yeah, exactly. Isn't that something? I'm just like, you religious, parents, but you hateful, and you ain't loving nobody. Just accept people for who they are. Exactly. You judge everybody for being different. Like, no, my dad, he saw two girls holding hands, and he threw soda at them. He did what? I would have whooped his ass if I oh, saw Oh, I was it. so ready to I would have whooped his ass. I'm sorry. That's your pops out of whooped his ass. Mm -hmm. The church uses reasons like that to get to, your money, to get your money oh, and then they're meanful, mean and hateful to you because you're different <coughs> and you're not like them. And that's bullshit. That's church for you. Exactly. And then they'll throw you out if you're not if you're not talking the same thing they talking, which is bullshit. You got to be a fucking clone. You got to be do everything the way they do it, or right, you like or you're wrong. Robots or something. Yeah, that's what they do. Clones. I like to call them clones. There's a lot of people that's into Jesus in the sense that they have accepted him they're saved by faith but they don't live by faith they don't use faith and, as that medium of exchange and so if we're in him then get into what you're into hello and when you're really into him you people are, and i'll go further into, into this even with the men when you're really into him, I mean, you lose sight of who you are he ain't saying nothing. because you get caught up with how that it's all about who he is and the worship of who he is. Hello. Hello. See, true worship you is ain't so said nothing. Hello. Worship, Hello. you go somewhere Hello. with God. You ain't said nothing. Worship is so personal that men uh, you trying to tell me how to do about being cool and, and all this. And when you get off in the worship, nobody says, well, you know, I don't dance or I don't whatever it is. Because David danced before the Lord, and the Lord was Duh. pleased with it, even though David's Duh. wife was. But you ain't living by it. You ain't let people live by it. Because she felt he was a man, and Unless second they do it he was king, and he should stay in his dignified manner. And David just simply lost you, it because of his love for God, me. because of his adoration for but God, you're judging because me. he realized that he could not be who he was without God placing him there. Not for one, we got some and stuff David to talk about. took off his royal you on point a little bit, but then you ain't living by it. Took off his vestige. It's good to teach, of, uh, but you ain't living by that. King, and he placed it aside, and he danced exactly. before the Lord. And the scripture says, and the Lord played him like someone that would play an instrument. David in the Lord. Glory to God. That's, that's, that's awesome. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm giving you to get caught up just thinking about it. Yeah, whatever. And when a man is not caught up with and him, they, and they you, you see, let me tell you what about Jesus? with this. They say Jesus see, the are more quiet. We have him, the you, you say something about what you going to do. The more of us is the more is going to cost you. The less of me, the more of him, it costs but, but, but me what, less. what does it cost you, though? What are you giving up? You ain't giving up nothing. You're living comfortably. You're living in a big-ass house with big-ass cars. And move with two big-ass churches and 400 churches underneath you. How are you struggling? The meek shall inherit the earth. The Paul meek. Is encouraging the church and not the imposters. Not the fucking Sadducees, the Pharisees, and, and, and the, the elders and the scribes. That's what you and are. The scripture says God bestowed upon them another dimension of grace. In which another you dimension of grace. Now. You understand? Dimension. Grace on That's the a entire different dimension. Church. And You're in the third dimension. I'm in the 33rd speaking, dimension. This is a season that God has placed a grace upon you don't know nothing about that. Church. And we've always had it, but you go from faith to faith and from uh, strength to strength and from glory to glory. And God has put a, a, a dimension of grace on us, financial grace. And you're going to see this. Hallelujah. That's why as I declare your broke days are over. Because God has put a grace upon this church. 
And the church of Macedonia, watch this, they demonstrate three things for us. See, that when it comes down to this right here, grace giving, it's and this birthday. is going to tie into um, your and this faith is their design based off of sacred geometry. When it comes down to grace this is their giving, how they formed in the, in, things, before uh, the formations uh, of this earth. With that. That grace based off of their birthday. And you, you calculate up their birthday. And you come up with the design that God has given them. And this person right here was, is a star. Bad things happen she's to going through people. and she's people homeless say, though. But she's a star. In God's eyes. My question would be, but you sit comfortably. Happen to God's people? Why do because bad things happen? Because you're not in his will. 100%. You're under just and the unjust. As long as you're in this world, you're going to have tribulations. But then he says, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. He's never promised you a life, as we would say, a bed of roses where there's no problem. But he's promised you is that he gives unto you grace to handle whatever the situation that Satan brings against you, meaning what you do. You ain't going through nothing, Father will increase your power. Yeah, what power? Where's the power? Where be your miracles? Your problem will increase your power. My last one, thank you. I knew it was that one. I had eight, four, three, four, three, three of them. Are y'all hearing me? And so okay, Jesus you and, red, and, and you Essence is teaching us something. Here at this church of, uh, uh, of, of Corinth, He's encouraging them that the church of Macedonia, like we had in Haiti, something happened that caused them to be your church is your body of fool. the necessities of the life. church and yet Paul that God made is not made by the hands of men so we're talking about the body the individual person give as we hope that they would it's give not talking about a, a, a building they didn't have anything to give but they gave of themselves and then he they said gave of themselves they gave what they, they had not what they didn't have giving. and you so demanded money just to us and why are you demanding money um, Tragedy, How come I can't just give my time? How come I just get thrown on clothes or somebody that needs some clothes? You right. That's given. Giving them a dinner. I don't have to give you money. Hebrews chapter 10 talks about that. You can lose your stuff, but you never lose your standard. You never lose your standard you never lose your standard lost your soul. of living by faith. You do lose Even your standard of living. Lost their stuff, Hebrews chapter 10, you lose he says they your possession. Joyfully the but of you gain so much they more like getting. Stuff, but Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, they like did the not lose their faith. Now faith like is Joe. the substance. And he says, even though you lost your stuff, uh, do not allow that to cause you to cast away your faith and your confidence. So, I'll tell you what, once you live on the street for about three years, then come talk to me. Get out of your big house. Get out of your cars. Go on the floor. Go on, go, on, go outside and, 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 and get in with the homeless. Go live out there for about three, four months. Then come talk to me. If you ain't done that, you can't say shit. You ain't the meat. You ain't inherited shit. You're inheriting what you don't possess and what's possessing you. So see, he gives the poor a seed, but oftentimes yeah. the poor, the meat. because of what we need. And you ain't poor, poor, bitch. We need Come on, so we. the poor thinks the seed is to meet their needs. You need. a fucking millionaire. You but ain't, we ain't no wheat. You ain't poor. I give you a seed. Once you give all your money away, give, to give all poor. your possessions away. And Sell all that you have, give it to the poor, and walk away from what you have. Can you do that? You have that much faith? No, you don't. Because that's how you break the cycle. Now break the cycle by giving up everything you got. Get on the street. Take this word to the street. If you're that confident, if, if you are, if you're a God son, if you're one of God, if you're a man of God, get out the building. Take it to the street. Tell me people follow you. You know what I'm saying? Do that. Then we can talk. Every other area of your life. You Me, sorry, when man. I speak about this you area, suck. You ain't living none of this. Specifically, and this church, you have already. Listen, I'm not preaching to you to get something. You've already yes, you are. sown. You've already given, and so forth and so on. This is a part of what's called the counsel of God. Yeah. See, Paul says that I would not shun to declare unto you the whole counsel of God. Meaning, not just getting to heaven, but how God wants to meet your need wherever you are. God wants your children to go to...
church to try to get your money in and you drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. When you go to church to try to get your money in and you drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. When you go into the church, get ready to get your panties on. Dick taking them too, dick taking them home. But you want them one, one to the two, and the two to the four, the five to the six, and the mix is the way I come around. I don't give a damn about what you say, sir. You ain't living none of it. It sounds horrible. You motherfucking imposter, you're horrible. You ain't nothing what you try to say. You ain't living by what you preach today. No, one, two, and the three to the four, and four to the five to the six and the seven. You think you're going to heaven, it ain't happening. Yeah, you not doing what you supposed to. I don't care what they wrote you, what they told you, how they promote you. You ain't shit to me. You ain't shit to God. You a motherfucking imposter, son. Yeah, I don't care what you say. What you wanna do when I swerve these curves, these words at you today. What you wanna do, huh? What you wanna do? What you wanna do? 702 420 not 401 not for 01, not for 01. You're gonna call me and we can get this on like the sun sign. First time when you came to call sign, April 9th, 2013. When you said I'm not forgiven after 1C, I was out of order. How that happened? Your law dogs, that's how that happened. No saying laws, what you follow. How you doing? Pipe hollow, sleep and hollow when you call them. Now you ain't got nothing I wanna hear. I heard you in the background, now you fear. What you got? going to say to you, when he comes calling for you, you fool, it's judgment day, yeah, you thought it wasn't coming judgment day, you're going to have nothing in your church, you're going to be empty, empty seat, with your law dogs walking around preaching and teaching over empty seats, touching every one of them, empty seats, yeah, what happened, God came and he took them away, huh, it's rapture day, what you want to do, what you want to say, mm-mm, you can't pray. Your flares have been blocked. They're not going to heaven. Yeah, they in the firmament. They stuck until you do your stuff the way you're supposed to, the way you talk to, the way you teach to, the way you learn through. The wisdom coming from forth from the first sum. The first sum is the worst sum. Under the, the third sum, that's the curse sum. You got a curse on you. That's, that's funny. Yeah, the scroll is fine to get your money. It's gonna eat it up. It's gonna take it all away. What you gonna do when it happens on the judgment day? Huh? Rapture, tribulation coming. Huh? You better act like you know something. <laughs> Amazing and phenomenal to me. 
how'd you get that title? It's motherfucking amazing and phenomenal to me. How'd you get that title, sir? Apostle. Who gave it to you? Imposter. Yeah, not possible. Did you read the Bible, sir? It's impossible to say what you want to be. I'm an apostle. That can't be given. It's received from the high one, the high place, man. We ain't motherfucking play, play. Your own dudes are the way you do it. How somebody underneath you lay it on it to you. Nah, man. You're tripping on the apostle shit. You an imposter shit. You bishop shit. You ain't no bishop, Rick. Bishop Rick, motherfucking pick, pick, motherfucking slick, slick, slick to front Philly. I got you. Club. I see you in the club.